Hello good people from the YouTube, here's Marcelo Durham and today we're gonna start a project. Well I just came back from work and I have this guitar waiting for me. I bought it, used it's one of those uh, classic vibe S wires from Squire. Uh, we check out the blue one with the binding and has only you know the bridge pickup and everything. And uh, I'm gonna route it for a neck pickup and I'm gonna do my blue John Frusciante guitar project. Which, to be honest, is not, you know, trying to be as close as possible as the John one, but just the, like a, you know, just a nod towards that, that guitar. So before we continue, let's do the unboxing, because I have the box just right down, down here with me. So let's grab it right now. Okay, I got the box, I got the scissors, and let's go for it. The packaging is not amazing. We can see by the box that he bought at Enderton's. <laughs> so he probably play, paid around two, 350, maybe 400 pounds for this, and I got it for 200. Oh, wow, shit, I hit the ceiling. And it came with a cover. Isn't that amazing? And I paid half the price of it. Okay, the moment of truth. Got a nice cover here. Let's open and see what we got. He did a nice wrapping, even though it's open in the back. because I want to do a review of the sound of this guitar as it is stock and also after my modification. So maybe I'll do the unboxing re and review of the stock version here and then I'll do the modifications and I'll do another video for that part of the modifications because it might be too much for one video. We'll see. If you watch this until the end, you will know. The moment of truth. So beautiful this this blue binding I always wanted to have a telecaster like this it's been a tough one okay here it is it's beautiful look at this binding has no flaws no marks no nothing it's a little bit dirty here at the bottom like a little tiny microscopic thing but there's no dings there's no scratch there's nothing you got this very lacquered neck that we all know that Squire does in this classic vibes but there are two things amazing about this neck that is going to make me keep it. I'm not going to change this neck. Is that the roll edges are so nicely done, are better than my fenders. My, yeah, they're better than my fenders. And, uh, and also, I think, uh, I don't know if it's just for this special run thing, this FSR, but you know, people were complaining a lot about, about how um, bad the feel was in these Indian laurels fretboards. So they did something to the fretboard that looks way smoother than my Jazz Master that I bought a long time ago, my, my uh, Classic Vibe Jazz Master 2019. This is much better qual uh, feel. So maybe they put some filler or they did something to this Indian Laurel because it, it looks really nice and it's kind of dark too. Just need a little bit of maybe Indian, uh, maybe a little bit of lemon oil to hydrate it. And I'm probably going to change the tuners but overall. So the plan here is to actually remove this pick guard route a hole for a neck one and you know and change the pickups for uh fender custom shop uh pickups that i have here is the 51 no caster so once again it's not following exactly john's Frusciante sound that should be more like a 60s uh, type of pickup but it's fine because i love that sound and it sounds just like a tele shoot sound uh and i'm going to change the potentiometers and everything the electronics to make it sound good even though this one actually is not too bad um, I have to open and have a look at what they got inside here, but I have some, you know, good potentiometers that I want to change for. And of course, I'm removing the pick, the, the pickup, the original one. But before we're going to do some testing with this, okay? I'm going to do the sound review on it. Okay, let's do the review of the sound of this guitar as it is now, and then I'll do all the modifications when I put the no casters later, and I route the holes and everything, and do all the modifications. I think that will be a second video. If not, keep up because it's going to be at the end. Let's do for the review of the sounds of this guitar as it is stock.
Okay guys, as I mentioned before, there's a lot of work to be done on this guitar and I understand why someone that doesn't know how to fix it, its own guitar would uh, want to get rid of it, to be honest, because it's not amazing outside the box to play immediately um, if, the, if they have the technique to play um, well, because also for, to be honest, for beginners, it's an amazing guitar. It's an amazing guitar for a beginner. I think this is a bit useless nowadays, this Esquire system where you get the this bypassed, because what you want to do like with this is just like give a little extra edge and with pedals nowadays you don't need that unless you're going to play directly and plug into the amp but it's also the edge that it brings is very subtle I don't think it's that big of a deal um, and of course the the muffled uh, sound is completely useless and you don't need to be a bass player if you want to be a bass player just play fucking bass you don't if you need to be a bass player you know just play bass um, uh, what else uh, yeah, the position in the middle is the normal Telecaster sound that you can roll the, the, the tone and that's the one you're going to stay in 100% of the time unless uh, you want to stay here and not have your 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 tone on working. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do these minor adjustments. I might even send the lacquer off of the body. I think it's too flashy and too new. Um, it's very light, not too heavy for a Telecaster. Uh, and it will be even lighter once I route the, the holes here. Uh, well, so one more thing that I want to do is that I'm eventually going to put, you know, this pick guard. I don't know if I'm going to go for this mint green that I got already or if I'm going to go for a cream one. But it will be something like this, like a mint green type of thing. Looks almost white when I put on the lights. But anyway, here in my eyes, it looks very, very mint green. Maybe I'll put a cream one. I don't know. Uh, but that's what's going to happen to this guitar. Uh, so, so before I wrap it up this thing, I would like to, before I destroy it, this guitar body, I want to show you guys how it is without the pick guard. You see it has no routing for a neck pickup and that's what I'm going to do. I have to do it because I really need a neck pickup. Um, that's the intention all, all along when I was buying this guitar, I wanted to have a uh, blue uh, binding guitar with an Telecaster proper neck picket. I really don't care about the Esquire thing. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be. I'm gonna do it, and um, it's gonna be. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be neat. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to share that. Okay. There's no coming back from this. Once it's done, it's done. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll be cool. We'll be cool. Uh, don't forget to watch the second part of this video where I will continue with the modifications, and I'll. I'll, I'll Make sure I register all the, the work that I do on it. Uh, until then, uh, subscribe, give it a like if you, if you want, the, all that kind of stuff. Check out my band on um, Spotify. It's called M-Files. I'll put the link on the description below if you want to check my work and the music that I do with these crazy guitars uh, that I build or modify. Uh, thank you for watching once again and see you in the next video. Bye. Cheers.